So, if we go and take a look, if we guys go and look at this graph, all right? Now, there's a couple things I want you guys to um, go through. There's two ways I'm going to show you guys with this. First of all, we know that this is in the form y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. Agreed? Yeah. All right. Now, all I'm asking you guys to do is to complete the square and then identify the vertex. And if that vertex is a max or if it's a min, OK? So the first thing we want to do, though, is rewrite this in the correct formation. So I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to put the 1 on the other side. That is a positive 1. So it's going to be a negative x minus 2 squared plus 1. Now, a couple things we need to remember is everybody in this class should know what the equation, excuse me, y equals x squared looks like, right? I mean, that's a parabola. You guys spent algebra 1, algebra 2 going over this stuff. So it should be fairly recognizable to you. Now let's go and look at the transformations, because that's what a big proponent of last chapter was. Understand the transformations. So we have a negative on the outside. That's reflecting the graph down. This is shifting the graph two units to the left. I'm sorry, two units to the right and then one unit up. So here's my vertex. That vertex got shifted. And then the graph looks something like this. Agreed? So my vertex is 2 comma 1, and it is a absolute max. Right? Because, yes? No, because it's, it's, it's the, the sign is what's in front of the 1. Yeah, so I'm just rewriting over there. Yeah, because technically you have a negative 1 right there. So it's like 1, and then that's my negative 1 times there. No, because that 1's in front. Okay. Um, is everybody okay with that? Okay, so relatively basic. I can make it a little bit more difficult, which 